Right, the uh, Commonwealth uh, Broadcasting Association will be conducting a series of workshops aimed at uh, sharpening journalistic skills and improving election coverage, among other things that we're going to find out about, because we're going to be talking to Adam Weatherhead, who's the project manager, and Kay Osborne, of course, general manager of TVJ, but she's also an executive committee member with uh, the CBA. Good morning and welcome to, to both of you. Good morning. Um, how long has the CBA been around? Because it um, seems to have been quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. It's been around for over 60 years. 60? Yep. All right. And just so you know, Simon, the CBA um, is composed of more than 100 members in more than 50 countries mm -hmm. across the Commonwealth. Okay. And Jamaica has two um, members, the CVM and TVJ, and, and a couple of associate members, including C CPTC and the Broadcasting Commission. Mm -hmm. Jour journalistic um, conferences or courses or grants are nothing new to the, mm -hmm. to the CBA. Mm -hmm. what, what will be the thrust of the workshop? Uh, How many will you have, by the way? Well, we're having, uh, there's three components to this uh, event. So right. it's, it's more than just a training workshop. That is the traditional model. We're looking to take it beyond that. There's three components. One of them is a training workshop. It has a training workshop element, and that is involves bringing in thir uh, journalists from 13, uh, 13 journalists from other countries to join some Jamaican journalists. Um, we're going to have about 20 people trained in total. Um, they're going to be covering issues such as election coverage, why it matters to have journalism, why journalism matters in a democracy. We've got a trainer who is an ex-director of BBC World. Um, she's coming over, she's going to be hooking up with Claude Robinson, mm. uh, distinguished Jamaican. Um, there's another element to it and that's a reception that's uh, happening at the Nutsford Court Hotel and the aim of that is to bring up the issue within the sphere of media and uh, politics in Jamaica. And, um, and the third element is a TV program that we're going to be shooting on the topic of will the digital age transform journalism and democracy in the Caribbean? All right. Um, the, the, the journalists who will be attending, as well as the Jamaican journalists, how are they, how are they chosen? Do they apply or do oh, they? We, uh, we ask stations to nominate okay. mm -hmm. across the Caribbean. Right. It's a, a co-production between the Commonwealth Broadcasting Association and the Caribbean Broadcasting Union. And so we asked our members to nominate broadcast work in broadcast journalists. As a, as a, mm -hmm. a GM, mm -hmm. um, I would have thought you would be in a, a really good position to, mm -hmm. to assess some of the, the things that you're going to be talking yes. about, like the impact of Facebook, yes. um, websites, yes. uh, you look at Huffington mm -hmm. um, and yes. how big that is as a, yes. as a, a digital internet mm -hmm. uh, medium mm -hmm. and the journalists who work there and then you have mm -hmm. journalists who are journalists in name rather mm -hmm. than training. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it a big impact, you think? It definitely, absolutely. In fact, some of our big stories here in Jamaica have been broken online mm. rather than through traditional, traditional, media. traditional media and moreover um, the advantage of online engagements and uh, is that m stories can be broken instantly and, and updated and updated constantly in a way that is more um, challenging for traditional media mm. however TVJ does have a major online presence right. as well. We break stories online. We, we, we um, stream live all our, our five newscasts a day. And we link all of those engagements, including our website material, to Facebook mm. to, and, 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 and all exact, that sort of thing. And all, several of the, of the, of the, um, of the social uh, media networks that are dominant in the area of broadcasting or um, or even narrow casting some of the more important information. Do you have any idea what the ex-director from BBC World what what she will be talking about or what her general thrust will be when she? Talks yeah, to the I, th I think um, 
you know, the BBC has very strict systems in, in terms of transparency, uh, transparency of government and also transparency of the organisation itself. Mm -hmm. So I think she'll be bringing some of that experience and expertise to the training. What about the, I think one of the, is one of the issues was the, the business of the media and democracy and its role in, I guess, promoting transparency and, and mm -hmm. anti-corruption. I think you said yeah. Trevor Monroe would, yes, would speak on that. Yes, he will be speaking mm -hmm. on that. Yes, yes, he will be. In fact, media has to be the watchdog for citizens. That is a primary role of media. Mm. If that breaks down or if there's collusion mm. between media and powerful stakeholders like government, like police and so on, that undermines and undercuts democracy. But do, do you not find of late that mm. the media has come under attack from the political arena mm. simply because the political arena doesn't quite get it that it is traditional media, yeah. but the digital age mm -hmm. has, has meant that it's, it's being scrutinized by so many more people mm -hmm. now. You're quite right, and that so many more people can become and are independent, what's called citizen journalists. Right, right. Another confusion I have noticed, at least here in Jamaica, is that some uh, officials may not really understand that the media does have an agenda setting role. Mm -hmm. That is a part of the requirement of media. Media doesn't tell you what to think, but media definitely helps you think, help you, helps the society, helps determine what you think about. Mm -hmm. And so, and that is agenda setting. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, what would the CBA like to see happen with, with the journalists who take part in this? Mm -hmm. And what is it you're hoping that they will then maybe impart to colleagues or may put in systems that, that lead to a certain type of best practice? Yeah, definitely. Um, we are looking to have the, the learning extended. So we want to set up a network of Caribbean political journalists and we want to create a forum uh, online where they can support each other, exchange uh, experiences that, that's going on. So we do want that to extend and we do want the training, as with, with any sort of workshop, you want the, the people that are invited to attend to spread that throughout their organisation. And you, you have suggested that this is slightly uh, different, this workshop and, and the, the, you know, the meeting and mm. so on. Does that suggest that the CBA is dissatisfied with previous efforts to extend that learning curve or is it just a natural progression? I, I think it's a natural progression but just like the media is like Kay was saying it's less top-down it's less about the the broadcasters telling the public this is how it is so training has been changed and transformed as well and it's more interactive mm. the I call them workshop facilitators, the BBC. Mm -hmm. You know, they're coming, they're going to try to create the environment where the knowledge is exchanged between the Caribbean journalists that are invited to attend. So and the knowledge is being shared. And there's a specific deliverable that would be interesting, very interesting to us here in Jamaica and in other territories where elections are coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Journalists will be trained on coverage of elections mm -hmm. so that we ensure that we have a core cadre of journalists who understand what are the rules, what are the issues about ethics prior to an election, during an election, mm -hmm. after an election, what the expectations are so that our coverage will enhance democracy and will help people make, the, make choices. Does it matter that some of the experiences that may be imparted at, at the workshops mm -hmm. are born out of a different culture, lifestyle, um, even, even possible political persecution that doesn't exist, say, in the UK, but might exist somewhere else. Would the experiences still 
still be relevant? Remember that the workshop is interactive and right. the journalists themselves are going to be influencing the conduct of the workshop mm -hmm. and the deliverables mm -hmm. and what is agreed on how processes will happen. There will be broad outlines on right. the in inevitable things that have to do with ethics and so on. But the workshop will be, is designed and, and will be executed mm -hmm. in a way where the journalists themselves will influence the out the outcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And it's it's when? Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. All right. Uh, the Commonwealth uh, Broadcasting Association um, conducting a series of workshops, which uh, hopefully will ensure that uh, mm -hmm. our journalists are um, are better able to to deliver uh, news stories and coverage of uh, life here in Jamaica and around the Caribbean, in fact. Adam Weatherhead, project manager, and Kay Osborne, not only GM, but executive committee member.